guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have a full face of drugstore makeup. I did go to Target yesterday and get a bunch of new beauty products. A lot of them that I've been hearing so much about that I really wanted to try for myself. And honestly, you guys, there's a lot of good ones. I'm so excited. Some of these are new that I got yesterday and then some of them are products that I've loved for a long time. So we have a little bit of a mixture. Everything that I use in this video is going to be linked down below for you guys so you can check them out, try them out for yourselves. Before we get started, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. It would mean so much to me. I hope you guys enjoy this video today. Let's just get right into it. Okay, so the first item that I'm gonna be using is not a new item. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte um, Primer and I have used this for years. So I already know how this works, but this I just put in my T-zone. And this just helps mattify this area because I get really oily around my nose. Next product, I love this. This is not new to me. I have had this for a couple of months, but I think it's pretty new, but this is really affordable. This is part of the Clean Fresh line from CoverGirl, and this is all cruelty-free and vegan. This is a foundation, but it has pretty light coverage. My color is 540 Light. This is also a great foundation for the summer too. It's lightweight. I just rub this in like a moisturizer. I'm just gonna take my beauty blender, push this into my skin. This is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer, and I just got this yesterday, so I'm really excited to try it. This one's the hydrating one. Like I said in my previous video, I have been wanting more hydrating concealers for summer, so I got this one instead of the original, but I was reading reviews, and I have seen so many YouTubers use this in videos, and I just really wanted to try it. So let's see how it is. The color I got is light ivory and it has this um, doe foot applicator. This is similar to the Tarte Shape Tape. Now I don't know if this is like a dupe for that, but the applicator is pretty similar. I'm just gonna put a little bit under my eyes, chin, nose, and let's do the forehead. I think the color is pretty good. It's not too light for me. It looks pretty good. So far, it's blending out pretty well. This is very full coverage. So far, so good. Doesn't feel too thick or heavy. Doesn't look cakey. This is how it looks. I think it looks pretty good. This might be my new favorite drugstore concealer. I think it was only like $6. Next up, if you guys remember, I had bought the, let me just tell you what it is. This is the e.l.f. Halo Glow um, setting powder, and I told you guys that it was too dark for under my eyes, but it was perfect for all over my face, so I wanted to go back and get the light to use under my eyes, so that's exactly what I did yesterday. I went to Target, and I got the light color. We are going to see if this is any better, if it's too light. We're just gonna see how it looks. Also, I just took this out of the packaging, but I also got a little brush set from Target. This is the Eco Tools Define and Highlight Duo. So basically, I was just looking for a brush kind of like this. Instead of using a beauty blender under my eyes to pack the powder on, I just wanted to like lightly dust it on. I feel like with a beauty blender, you get so much powder under your eyes. So I just wanted something that would give like a little bit more of a lighter application. This pack of two was like $5. And then it came with this like highlighting fan brush, but it's really thick. I feel like it's too big to use with highlighter, but we're gonna try it. So we're gonna use this one right now to apply my under eye powder. It's really weird to not be using a beauty blender under my eyes. The brush is really soft though but I feel like I wish it was more dense. I think the color is perfect for under my eyes. So definitely a good move to get the light. So far, so good. The concealer's setting really well. I love this powder. I highly recommend this powder, it's $8. It's just like the perfect summer powder because it just gives your skin like that luminous, dewy, 
like glow, not shiny or anything. It still sets your makeup. It's just not like a matte setting powder. I think that looks pretty good. Let's just do a little bit of the light on my forehead in the center. I'm gonna go in with the medium powder now and I'm using this Sonia Kashuk number 130 brush. You can also get this at Target, but I got this so long ago. I don't know if they still even make this brush, but Sonia Kashuk has really good brushes. Look at all the powder flying around. Why does that happen? So next up, I'm so excited for this next product. This is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I'm really excited to try this out today. I got this yesterday at Target um, and I got the bronzer color. This smells like you're on vacation, on a beach, drinking out of a coconut. smells so good. So this is the color and then this is the brush that it comes with that I just dropped. This is like a sponge. I don't think I would use this for bronzer. So I'm not going to use this. Oh, and there's a mirror. That's nice. Let's give it a go. I think the color is perfect. I was torn between getting the light or this one. I just felt like the light might be too light on me. I actually really like this bronzer. It's not too orange. It's like the perfect contour color and it's blending out really well. It's like blending out like butter, hence the name butter bronzer. I think I have found my new favorite drugstore bronzer. I'm gonna just bring that down my neck. I am really loving this bronzer so far. I don't really have any good, or really any like drugstore eyeshadow palettes. So I'm just gonna put this bronzer in my crease and call it a day. The only thing is, I don't know if you can see it, but like, it's really patchy and it's like difficult to blend out, but it's really, it's a bronzer, not an eyeshadow. It's fine on my face. It wasn't doing that at all, but maybe this just isn't the right bronzer to use as an eyeshadow. Okay, so we are gonna do blush now. This is the Milani uh, Rose Powder Blush in Romantic Rose. I did just get this yesterday, so I've never tried these before but I love the packaging. I think they're so pretty. I'm obsessed with the rose. All right, so let's test this out. I really like the color so far. It's not too bright. I actually like this a lot. I'm excited. I love the packaging. I love the color and it goes on really nicely. Okay, A plus for this blush. I also feel like Milani is like really underrated. They actually have some pretty good products. I'm just gonna put a little bit of that bronzer underneath my eyes. All right, I am going to go contour my nose off camera and I'm gonna use the butter bronzer for that and I will be right back. Just contoured the nose. For highlighter, these definitely are not new and I have used this a hundred times, but this is the Maybelline Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter and this is in the color Molten Gold. It looks like this. I mean, you can tell how many times I've used it. It's such a pretty gold and what I like about these is they're not like a chunky, intense highlight. They're more of like, just like a natural glow, like a healthy glow on your face. Definitely recommend this highlighter. But look, I did literally like a swipe and it's, I'm done. And they also have the like liquid or cream versions of these. Those are really good as well. Okay, so next up is lashes. And then this is the Essence Lash Princess. 
I know you can get this on Amazon. I know you can get this at Ulta. I don't know if drugstores carry Essence. I'm not positive, but this is still only $5 and this is my favorite mascara. And then this eyelash curler, I actually got at the dollar store. So this is only a dollar and it really curls your lashes. It like is so tight. I actually heard of this eyelash curler because Laura Lee did a dollar store haul and she mentioned these. I forget what the brand is called. Sassy and Chic. So the brand is Sassy and Chic. And yeah, I saw Laura Lee put this in her video and she was raving about it and it's only a dollar. So I decided to try it. Definitely recommend this eyelash curler if you are ever at the dollar store. This is honestly the only mascara that I wear. Like I just, First of all, don't see the point in spending like $30 for a mascara, especially when I do wear lashes all the time. But I mean, this one, look at that. This one works better for me than most $30 mascaras do. All right, so mascara is done. I am gonna do false lashes today. I just ordered these from Amazon. These are the Goo Goo 3D Mink eyelashes. It says they're 100% Siberian mink fur, soft, light, and natural. So I got two styles. I got one that is more dramatic, and then I got one that's more of like a daily. Wait, I don't know which one's which. All right, I don't know which one's which. I don't know which one is the natural and which one is the dramatic. They both look pretty dramatic to me. But the reason that I got these is every day I'm on Amazon looking at today's deals and these were on there and they were on sale for $6. I think they're usually $10, but in the comments, everybody was saying that they are a dupe to the Lily Lashes and I love Lily Lashes. Also in the description, these say that you can wear them up to 25 to 30 times which I love. That's just like the Lily Lashes. You can wear them like 30 times. We're gonna test them out today and we are gonna see if they are really a dupe. They feel really nice and they definitely look like the Lily Lashes. They also come with like the little tweezers so that you can apply them easier. I don't really ever use the applicator. I just use my fingers. So here are the lashes. This is what they look like. Right off the bat, I can say that they were really easy to apply. All I had to do was push them against my lash line and they stuck. They don't feel too heavy. They are a little bit dramatic. I definitely wouldn't wear these like every day, but they're really full. They're really good quality. Yeah, I will link these down below for you guys. Also like how the band is pretty black and thick so that you don't see space between your natural lashes and the falsies, but I will also keep wearing them, testing them out, and then if I do really like them, I am making an Amazon favorites video soon. I'm just waiting on a couple more things and then I wanna try those things out. So I will update you guys on these in that video. So for brows, I'm gonna go in with my CoverGirl Ultra Fine Brow Pencil. So I have been using this for a while. This is probably my favorite brow pencil from the drugstore. It's not waxy. Usually drugstore brow pencils are pretty waxy and they like skid across your brows, but this one just glides and I really like it. The only thing is, this one is soft brown. So yesterday I picked up soft blonde because my perfect color is taupe. I like to get taupe brow pencils, but I can never find it at the store. I feel like they discontinued it. So I'm gonna try out the soft blonde and see if it's any better. I mean, this one's pretty taupey. I was expecting more of like a yellowy for some reason. I feel like this color is pretty good. It's matching my brow hairs pretty well. I don't know, first soft blonde, this looks pretty taupey to me. Okay, so here's how my brows look. I'm obsessed with the color. I think it's perfect. I think it matches really well and I don't think they're too dark. I do really recommend this brow pencil. I think it's amazing. Definitely check it out. We are going to do lips. 
So I'm going to use my absolute favorite drugstore lip liner. This is NYX Peekaboo Neutral. I use it pretty much every single day. This one is like $4. I just think it blends in really well with the natural color of my lips. And then I'm also gonna use um, a NYX lipstick and this is the color Thalia. This one is like a mauve nude color. All right, so we are done. So here is the final look. I am obsessed with everything. I am so happy with the new products that I've gotten. So let me go over my final thoughts about everything. I definitely think that you guys need to try out the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. Now I wanna go get the matte one because I love this one so much. This is my new favorite drugstore concealer. Um, it has full coverage, it's hydrating, it's not too drying under your eyes at all or too cakey. It's really, really affordable. So this one was a win. And honestly, I never used to buy e.l.f. makeup. Like that's just not what I would gravitate towards in the store, but they've been coming out with some really bomb products lately. So another one, this is my new absolute favorite setting powder. I'm definitely gonna be using this one over my airspun from now on, especially in the summer. So I have light and medium here. Definitely check these out if you want like a dewy finish instead of like a matte setting powder. The butter bronzer lives up to the hype. It glides on your face like butter. So um, I think the color is perfect. It's not too orange. It's the perfect bronzer and contour shade for me. And I'm obsessed with the smell. It's literally like you're on a beach in the middle of summer, so. Love this. I'm really loving this blush too. I definitely think that this rose packaging is beautiful. The color's a great color. Um, and I think it might be a dupe for the Tarte Party Blush. So this is a really nice everyday color. Loving this. So I just saw these sitting there and I'm really stupid because I was supposed to use this for my highlighter today and I completely forgot and used the same brush that I always use. Creature of habit. But yeah, I, I just personally think that this brush is gonna be too thick and big for highlighter, but I still did wanna test it out for you guys. But um, I do really like this powder brush for my under eyes. I liked it a lot better than using a beauty blender. I think that it's definitely a lighter application. The bristles are really soft. I think it's a good quality brush so far. So I would definitely get the pack. I mean, if you can find this one on its own. I mean, this was only $5, so might as well just get the set. If you're ever at the dollar store, definitely check this out. Great eyelash curler. And then I think the star of the show were these lashes. So I will link down below the exact style that I'm wearing. I have to figure it out and see if I can figure out the exact names because I don't see them on here. But I definitely think that these are a dupe for the Lily lashes. They look like them, they feel like them, but they're not too heavy and I just think that they are a great lash and they were only $6, but I got them on sale. I think they're 10, but still 10 compared to 30. I'm gonna wear them all day and I'm gonna keep wearing them and see how they hold up over time. And then, like I said, I will update you guys in my next Amazon favorites video, but so far I'm loving these lashes. And then lastly, these brow pencils. Highly recommend the CoverGirl Ultra Fine brow pencils. And I'm really happy that I went with soft brown because I think that it's just a lot better of a match for my brows and my hair color. I love this brow pencil. It glides on, it's not waxy, and it's just really easy to blend out and just a good overall drugstore brow pencil. I also totally forgot, I wanted to put this on for you guys because this is the NYX um, Filler Instinct. This is the color Brunch Drunk. So this is just a lip gloss and it's like a shimmer lip gloss, but it's also a lip plumper so you can actually feel it tingling on your lips. But yeah, I think for summer, this is great. I just totally forgot that I was gonna use this today. Even though it's shimmery, there's not chunks of glitter in it, which I really like. But definitely check this one out as well. I did just recently get this like two weeks ago. So, and I think it's pretty new. 
So that's it for the video, you guys. I had a lot of fun testing out these products. I'm so happy with the look that I ended up with. So yeah, definitely check out the products that I used in this video. I don't think I had any flops. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also hit the notification bell so that you guys don't miss any of my future uploads. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.